So we had the uh, HQ645s on here earlier. Now let's try the DAL 6040s. These took some serious balancing. So I'm not that impressed by them right off the bat. All on the same tune. I'm just comparing props on the same tune here still. Whoa! Did I get one of those backwards? I did. Let's pause. We're back. Haven't made that mistake in a while. Oh yeah, those aren't nearly as aggressive as the HQs. Seems a lot floatier on these too. Might be the wind though. Not horrible. They're as indestructible as they claim. They're not bad for practice, but they're definitely not a match for HQs. Oops. Same pack from earlier, so we're fairly fair comparison here. I don't have the recovery I do with these props, they just don't bite. Sure is pretty up there in that evening light though. Pack sagging, or if it's the props, but definitely not what I expect from 645s on 2204s right now. And the props made it are, are making a difference here. I'm sure what I did to that pack earlier didn't help either. Definitely floatier on these too. Not sure how they can be both less aggressive and floatier, but they sure seem to be.
I'm only showing two minutes on my thing here, but feels like it's been a bit longer. Whoop. <laughs> Hey, no prop damage. Ooh, that pack's getting warm. Bad I took the antenna off the video transmitter before this. This carport's just so tempting, but always so troublesome. really does throw off the perspective flying through it. Ooh, wind, wind, wind. Oh, did I mention those landing gear are getting kind of loose? Notice that one's kind of crooked now too. <laughs> those landing gear and I don't get along. They fell off within the week on my first one. wind. Yeah, pack is sagging on me. So, well, the Dells work. I'll, I'll fly when I get back to practice some more FPV, that's for sure. But they're definitely, uh, oh yeah, look, we knocked off the Blackfoot, we scraped the thing, and we bent the, yeah, that one's seen a bit of abuse. I don't know if I'm catching that on video, but the frame frame is holding up just fine and dandy here really well. Let's, uh, while we're here, let's give a little review. One thing I've noticed is the, the board gets kind of warm. Uh, it's two, I don't know if you can see them in there, but there's two uh, 7805 linear regulators, and it looks like a 3-volt regulator next to it, so... That's what's putting a lot of heat in there. And that's really all that's putting a lot of heat in there. And that's all concentrated right around here where those are. I've scratched this up pretty good. I lost my two top screws on my camera. They're just uh, nylon screws. And I think what happened was in a crash, I stripped those out. So this is taking some abuse, but definitely protecting the camera. So that's nice. There's the, uh, yeah, that. That landing gear has seen better days already. Some of the edges here are getting just a little scratched up, but really not too bad. They're holding up better than uh, I've had pure G10 hold up, and they're holding better up, holding up better than I've had cheap carbon fiber hold up. So that's pretty much nice all around. Motors are not even warm. Those are maybe 90, if that. I mean, they're they're running cool. A little bit of sand in that one now. Um, yeah, I'm having fun with it. I can't wait to throw it up FPV. Just, uh, got to figure out why I can't get this transmitter to play nice for me. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it might have been just an issue with the antenna that came with it. And I'm just worried that because of the antenna issue, it may have caused issues for the transmitter. And I'm going to pop my transmitter on this hole or this hole and put the Mobius mount back on, and hopefully tomorrow we'll give it a little go on uh, FPV and see how it does. And oh, oh man, and you know what? That's one of the reverse threads. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. That's going to be a pain to find. Okay, so maybe I won't get to give it a go on FPV tomorrow unless I come up with a reverse thread to fit that. <sighs> that's why I don't like those prop knots. Got to go search the yard now. We'll see ya. Good news. Haha, -ha, found it. It was uh, my little escapade up here with the uh, carport. Sure enough, down here in the leaves. So, success. We can fly again. So, makes me happy.